Good morning, Neil. I met with officials at Paso Robles Municipal Airport where PG&E will deploy helicopters on 10 trips to scan the skies and the trees. The point is to reduce wildfire risk by checking for dead, dying and hazardous trees. With drought conditions affecting the health of trees in California, PG&E is using patrols both in the air and on the ground to make sure trees aren't getting too close to power lines and posing a fire risk. In theory, when we patrolled the trees on the ground six months ago, they could have been alive, right? But with tree mortality and the drought, six months time, you can have a green tree go from being alive to dead. These patrols happen twice a year in high fire threat areas, and they're looking for trees adjacent to the PG&E transmission lines. Dead trees could fall over, cause an outage, or start a fire. So that's very concerning for us as a utility. Uh, you know, we're members of the community as well, and obviously wildfires is a very significant concern. Sign says they're looking for trees that have a rust color or are without foliage. PG&E officials also patrol on the ground to make sure the shrubbery isn't too close to power lines. We can either cut down the tree or cut the tree back. We patrol about 100,000 miles of line a year and we've cut down or pruned about a million trees in a year. In the helicopter, there are three crew members plus the pilot. And now let's take a look at the patrol routes. The helicopter crews will be going through these specific areas in Cayucas and Cambria, Tascadero to Cayucas and Templeton and Atascadero. 